Chapter 10. Add my points. Yay, Apu! I got 9 and 21 points. I got 12 and 19. Who wins, Apu? We have to add our points to find that out, Priya. Let's watch this video to learn how to do that. My score is 12 and 19. Priya's scores are 9 and then 21. Take a look at this number chart to count each of our points. So I scored 12 and then 19. So let's start moving from 12. And we'll move upwards 19 steps on this number chart. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So my first score was 12, and then I added 19, and I got 31. So that's 12 plus 19 equals 31, and 31 is my total score. Now let's add Priya's scores. That's 9 and 21 equals. So as we've learned before, that adding 9 to 21 or 21 to 9 will give us the same answer. Now in this case, what do you think is better? Starting from 9 and moving 21 steps or starting from 21? Well, if you guess 21, you're right. Starting from 21 will get you the answer faster. So let's go to 21 on this number chart. So here's 21. And now let's count nine steps from 21. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we get 30. So nine plus 21 is 30. So that was pretty close, huh? 30 and 31. That's okay, Apu. I'm going to get you next time. Now let's do a few more problems and find missing numbers. Let's see. What is 12 plus blank equals 27? Let's take a look at our number chart again. Here is number 12. So over here in our problem, you can see it's 12 plus blank equals 27. We know 27 is the answer. So let's go over here and count up to 27. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we know we've moved up 15 places to reach 27. So in our problem here, we know the answer would be 15. So that's 12 plus 15 equals 27. Now let's try another one. What is blank plus 7 equals 33? Let's take a look at this number chart again. Here is 7. And let's count from 7 up to 33. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. It took us 26 steps to get to 33. So that's 26 plus 7 equals 33. See, you'll get the same answer. It doesn't matter which direction you go. Now, let's see how fast can you add. Let's not use the number chart here. What is 6 plus 3 plus 4 equals? This might look like a very difficult problem, but it's actually very simple. First, let's add 6 and 3. So let's add 6 and 3, which will equal to 9. Now we can add 9 plus 4. So let's bring the 4 down here. We've got 9 plus 4 equals 13. Now you can add it in a different way too. For example, 6 plus 4. That's 6 
plus 4 equals 10. Now we have to add the 3 that's left over. So that's 10 plus 3 equals 13. So here we added those numbers first that gave us a 10 because addition with 10 is very easy. Now let's try and do a few more. So here we have 2 plus 6 plus 8 equals. Now we know that 8 plus 2 will give us 10. And then we add the remaining number left, which is 6, so that's 10 plus 6 equals 16. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Let's try another one. So there's 3 plus 8 plus 7 equals. Now let's try getting the 10 again as fast as we can. So if you look here, 3 plus 7 will give you 10. And the leftover number is 8, so we do 10 plus 8 equals 18. That was really quick, right? You see how simple it is? Let's do one more activity called the frog jump. Now here, we have a few paths to ponds with fish in them. Now, here's the question. Which path should the frog take to reach the pond with 17 fishes? So let's look at the first path here. That's 8 plus 4 plus 3 equals. So if we go from 8 plus 4 gives us 12 plus 3 over here, we get 15. Add up the numbers on the stones to know the number of fish. Let's try the first path. So as we can see here, 15 is the number of fish that we'll get in the first path. So let's write that down. That's 15. Now we know this is not the way to reach to the pond with 17 fish. So let's try the second path, which is here. So we have 8 plus 3, which gives us 11. And then we have 11 plus 6, which gives us 17. So let's write that down. The second path gives us 17 fish. So this looks like it's the right way. Let's see what we get with the third path, which is this path over here. So if we look at all the numbers in the third path, we've got 8, and we know 8 plus 2 gives us 10. Now 10 plus 1 is 11. So let's put that here. 11 is the number of fish we get on the third path. So according to this problem, we know that the second path is the right answer. Try to do this kind of mental math to practice and polish your skills. It will really help you in the long run.